Previously on Linda Binta and Jupiter the Hybrid. If I wanted you dead, you would already be dead. How would you have done that? There's this thing called hiring a hitman. You would have hired a hitman to take me out? Exactly. Let's just say I would hire a professional. You'd hire a professional to take me out? Exactly. Professionals are clean, seamless. Don't leave any evidence. Oh, so you thought this through already? No, we're not talking to Jupiter. What the fork? Do you think I'm gonna risk my life again? Like, I just don't have the mental capacity to deal with him right now. And I hope you guys can understand that because if you can, then you can just fork off. Jupiter saw my um, videos that I posted, the eight that I posted from the phone call with him. And he texted me, hey, Linda, you honestly think I'm stupid and that I'm not gonna fall for your trap. Enough is enough. I want answers and I want you to know and I want to know why you're manipulating me and using this relationship to play spy. I am not doing this anymore. Find a new target to get into trouble. I'm out. So you want to know how I got back into his good graces? I had to put myself in Jupiter's shoes. If I was Jupiter, what would I want Linda's response to be? And what I said is I said, Anonymous told me that if I didn't, they would hurt me. I am so good at this. And then he says, hold on, I have an idea. I need you to trust me. Can you do that and trust me? He wants me to give this message to Anonymous. Wink, wink. So this is my message to Anonymous. I want you to stop threatening people to get your way, my friend. I don't care what you think of me, but leave the people I care about alone. I will not tell you again. You need to stop threatening and controlling to get your freaking way. I am sick of the threats. I'm sick of the death threats. I'm sick of you hurting people to get your way. I'm first of all, honest. first of all, you fork and birch, you're sick of the death threats? Who was the one that sent moi a death threat like five days ago? I don't think that was anonymous, was it? I think that was you. Stop your shit, knock your shit off, or I personally will go to the police. I don't care if you threaten anyone else, but leave the people I care about alone, or I'm going to the police because I have a brother named Donnie who's in the reserves. I can go to him any fuck. Okay, wait, let me just say something. I did not listen to this whole message, so I do not know what he's going to say. I have a brother named Donnie who's in the reserves. I can go to him any fucking time I want, pal. I could report you and have you tracked down and brought to justice. So leave those I love and care about alone. Final fucking warning. That was very aggressive. <laughs> I did not listen to that. I just, I didn't have the time and patience to listen to that. Ultimately, what I'm trying to do is put you in prison. <laughs> oh, good job. So that was like a good effect to have right there. Call me Melissa, Maleficent, because I'm about to malef his scent. He um, told me to post that message to TikTok. He seemed out of breath. Maybe he was just laying down on his mattress, um, exfoliating himself. Someone asked a very stupid question. Gabby, with the stupid question, she asked, when are you going to go to the cops? Are you dumb? Do you have something wrong with your brain? Before you comment, why don't you go watch my videos? I know there's like, 40 of them, but I think that um, 40 is a good number with people with like two brain cells. <laughs> Anyways, but yes, the, I went to the police the second, the second I found out he was messaging these girls. And you know what? You have to do what you have to do to get someone in jail. 
just like Gypsy Rose. <laughs> okay, let's not go there. Gypsy, I love you. Maybe we're long lost sisters. Let me know, call me. I was in San Diego. I got screenshots. I got videos of him saying all this stuff to these girls. So the fact that you would come in here and say, when are you gonna go to the police? Are you forking dumb? You know, there's, there's a lot of doctors on TikTok. Why don't you go um, ask them to help you with your brain capacity? Cause I know you need it. Like what makes you think I didn't go to the police the second I found out this? What the fork is wrong with you? No hard feelings to Gabby. I just had to get my point across. And then he says, I refuse to be silent. And then I said, okay. And then he said, good. And then he just said, 4218, rise to the call. What does that mean? Is he in a cult? Someone said Mariah, um, one of his children. Um, Mariah, I would advise you to gallop to safety because um, I don't think that your um, daddy should have pleasure in spanking you. Jupiter's convinced that he has, convinced that he has like 10 stuffed animal My Little Pony children. And one of them was named Mariah. And in one of the videos I posted, he was, he was hitting, he was hitting it. I don't know the pronouns of horses. So yeah, anyways. So Mariah, I advise you to gallop to safety if you're listening to this. Um, gallop, please, to safety. Good question. Someone asked, are the cops going to do anything? I've been in contact with them for the past three months. The thing is, they told me this, and this is from the Nampa Police Department, and this is still why I'm continuing to have conversations with Jupiter. You may be like, oh, Linda, just leave him in the past, like move on. I'm like, he's still out there. He can still do what he wants to children. That He could, like, you, you guys don't understand. It would be more beneficial for someone with a big presence to keep tabs on him rather than to let him roam wild in Idaho. Because Lord knows in 20 years we can be digging up his backyard and find the things we don't want to find. So Jupiter, if you're watching this, all of that I was saying was fake. Thank you. See, everybody's saying Netflix acting, great monologue, amazing job. She's acting, choop choop. Thank you. Right when I was saying my monologue, you blocked me on Messenger. Right when I was saying my monologue. I should have prefaced it by saying I was acting. Uh, this is, uh, this is not good. This is what happens when you're such a good actor. Netflix reached out to me and said, Linda, we would love to have you in a TV show. Um, I think they, they said like, love is blind or something. Jupiter, if you were watching this, please. <laughs> Jupiter, please. <laughs> I don't think you understand how much I have so strong feelings for you. I need you to realize that that was just a monologue. A quarter of my heart belongs to you. The other quarter belong to Taco Bell. Anyways, um, yeah, I just got a mental, like a, a mental image, like a news flash, and it was just like him but like the meme of the arthur meme with his fist like no just not his not him fisting like his fist like the arthur fist like angry anonymous threatened me and said that if i didn't practice my monologue to TikTok, that they would do something bad they would kidnap barry the bee and you know how i feel about kidnapping barry the bee Okay, he probably stopped watching like 10 minutes ago. This was, this whole outfit is a message for you, Jupiter. You have to know, like when you're driving on the road and you see an orange traffic cone, that is what I'm giving. I am giving orange traffic cone. Because danger, danger. Jupiter, help me, help me. Jupiter, please. Anonymous are out to get me. You have to help. 
Let's go see if he unblocked me. Thank you. Someone called me Miss Creamy. Thank you so much. No, I'm so blocked. Jupiter, I thought that dance would help. I just showed you all my voluptuous moves. <sighs> Why am I out of breath? You told me to rise to the call in your last text to me. And now I need you to rise to the call. So come on, Jupiter. 4218, thank you for 4218, 4218, 4218, 4218. Anonymous is making me act, what's the word? Sportive, sportography? <laughs> Wait, what? Sportography? Guys, I, I have selective dyslexia. I can't say some words sometimes. Oh, sporadically. Thank you. Not sportographically. Anonymous told me to, to, to do a monologue, um, a scripted monologue that they sent to my email, thelindavinda at gmail.com. They sent me a monologue to thelindabinda at gmail.com and they told me to recite it to my followers or they would kidnap Barry the Bee. And I haven't seen him in a few days. I think I heard a knock on my door. They gave me Barry back, Joop Joop. They gave me Barry back. You can unblock me, look, look. They gave me Barry back. Jupiter, they cannot Barry the Bee. And they gave it back. Because I said the monologue. They made Barry smell like old man and barbecue. Oh, rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel, for he has come to bring me Barry the Bee. Anonymous told me to say that because they would kidnap Barry the Bee. Who else can I throw under the bus? Gabby. Gabby told me to say that. Because Gabby works with Anonymous. Someone said, do sing I Will Always Love You by Whitney Houston. Jupiter, if you're watching this, this is my last message. Come on, you have to understand. Celine Dion sang this. So I'll go, but I know I'll think of you every step of the way. 4, 2, and 8. And I, I will always love you. Oh, will always love you. Ah, oh. Bittersweet memories. That is all I'm taking with me and I, I will always love you Ooh, I with always love you my love and jupe jupe will always love you Four, two, one, eight. I hope life treats you kind And I hope you have all you dreamed of And I wish you joy and happiness But above all this, I wish you Encanta. I, I will always love you. Ooh, I will always love Jupiter. How dare you? Jupiter, did you hear it? <laughs> and, uh... It was my war cry. And you just soiled it. Explain your stuff. I want answers. No lying. I'm not lying. Okay, can you calm down and just listen to me first? You have five seconds. Explain yourself, Missy. 
Well, talking. well, Jupe Jupe, the anonymous said that if they sent me an email of a monologue, I have to say to my followers. And if I didn't, they would come and kidnap Barry the Bee. And I said it, and there was a knock on my door, and they give me back Barry. You know, it's something... I'm I'm sorry. I just didn't know what to do because Anonymous told me that they would just hurt me and hurt Barry and and I had to say I'm what they told me. Four two one. Time to make the call. Four two one eight is a call to act. I no longer allowing Anonymous to do this. He's gotten away with it for too long. They tried to make a, They tried to put a wedge between us. It's time. All my supporters, all my followers, to fall in line and fight back. Time for a revolution. Thank you. The Jupiter Revolution. Yeah, okay. But you know that what I said wasn't true, and it was just anonymous trying to get under your skin. Somebody's saying you're lying, and I know you're, the, you're telling the truth. She's trying to divert attention. I know. Jupiter, there's nothing that people can do to put a wedge in between us. I will not let that happen. It's time for the revolution to start. Everyone, 4218, fall in line or fall behind. Jose, can you see by the dawn's early light? Can we fight this war with water balloons and not guns? To everyone who's still watching me and following in line, the cry action. Kick Anonymous from the servers. I'm done. I'm done bound to him. I will no longer sit quietly and haunt the people I care about. Anonymous, if you're watching this, I'm coming for you. And this time, I'm not playing nice. My followers will make sure they get kicked from the servers. My fans will follow. My support will grow. I'm no pedophile. That's for damn sure. What you said about my brother was untrue. My brother is a good man. And you sold his name. War never changes. Best start packing your shit and getting out of the States while you can. Yeah, you heard him. You heard him, Anonymous. Get your stuff and pack out because you have threatened me f way too long and threatened Jupiter's uncle. And you know around here, we don't mess with uncles, you fork and birch. Yeah, you don't mess with my family or my loved ones, including Linda. You don't mess with her. Linda? Yeah. I'm going to say it out loud. I love you. Thank you for having me back this whole entire time. I shouldn't have doubted you. Of course, of course. Me encanta tu también. Four two one eight people. Four two fall one eight. Four two one eight. Four two one eight. Fall mine or fall behind. That's all I gotta say. Step fall your bin dussy up. Step your bin dussy up, you mother forkers. You've gotten away with this for far too long. I am done. I'm unrunning. Get ready for the revolution, bitch. Because I'm coming. I will win this war. We have to get the villains locked up. Exactly. So hang up your fucking mask. Stop your shit. Pack your shit. Leave the states. Final warning, pal. 4218. Fall in line or fall behind. Okay, Jupiter. Well, I'll t I'll talk to you. I'll talk to you later. Thank you for understanding this, and thank you for four two one eight. I'm with you because I want people to know. I want people to see what has happened. I want everyone to know this. I will stay on as long as it takes. Thank you. They get the message that they're not backing down. Thank you. If you so much as lay a finger on Linda, I will make sure you regret it. You will not lay a finger on the people I love, the people I care for. I am sick of your shit. You lay a finger on Linda or anyone else, 
who I love and care about, I will make sure you don't forget. And I will make sure that you never see the light of day again. Thank you, Jupiter. That make people like me look bad. So because of people like you, that I can go out and flip out somebody's automatically noticing and saying, oh, there's a pedophile when you see one. I can't go out public like that. You stained my public image. I will not let you get away with it. <sighs> okay, Jupiter. Well, it, I think this has been a lot. I have to go take a break now. I'll stay on with you while you're on your break. I'll give you some moral support. Okay. I'm here for you. Get me the fork out of here. This birch is holding me hostage. Thank you. Forgive me for being a little large, but... No, sure. I will never forgive you for being large. I, I don't body shame. What I'm saying is I was a little harsh. Oh, harsh. harsh. Okay. Yeah. Return my shit to me. I'll let you continue my life. I'm Peter. Or we'll drag it by myself. And let's just say things will be messy. Be triple. I should have put it here. I should have put there. I think, um, I think, oh my gosh, I think we're breaking up. I think the, the cell, the cell service is breaking up. Guys, did I do, did I do okay? I have never acted a day in my life except for today when Anonymous made me, um, say things I didn't mean. The connection was bad on my iPad. I had, like, it ended because the connection was bad. We need to spread the word that the revolutionary Jupiter War is now on. 4218, step your bin dussy up. The Jupiter revenu rev Revolutionary War, 4218, fall in line or fall behind. That's the word. Anonymous can't stand the chance of this bin dussy. No one can. Ask Gerald. He's 90 and he probably passed away from the power that this Bendesi holds. And then he reincarnated into a cockroach. Something that a lot of you haters are familiar with. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm going to upload this and cry. Love you guys. So glad it's not me getting the death threats this time. So glad it's someone else getting the death threats. So glad it's not me. Okay. Gotta go. <laughs> Linda Binda for president. Love you guys. Traffic home, out. Jose, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight Fall in line or fall behind Step your bin to see up